startups are thriving in the city of brotherly love. And there are a few reasons why entrepreneurs are calling Philadelphia home. Kate Rogers tells us why this city matters to small business. Roar for good? Like I and women hear me roar. Yasmin Mustafa launched her startup Roar for Good a few years ago after traveling across South America on a solo trip. She met many women who shared experiences of assault or abuse. When she returned back to the States, her neighbor was raped and she knew she had to do something. Women use self-defense tools like pepper spray and tasers to protect themselves. But what I thought was the biggest issue is that they had to take it out of the pocket or their purse in order to activate it. So why not make them wearable? She designed the Athena, a wearable device that has two modes, one for safety, which can alert friends and family of your location if you're feeling uncomfortable while out. The other mode sounds an alarm and lets your emergency contacts know you need help. They've pre-sold 10,000 devices already and will ship early next year, thanks in part to the Dream It Accelerator program, which focuses on different groups, including minority and women founders. They also have a fund that invested in Roar for Good last year. The important elements for any startup company is customers, capital, and community. And Philadelphia has all three of those elements. It's a very livable city, so people like being here. The community is a strong community in that people tend to be very open about meeting one another and helping one another. Mustafa and Dreamit are a part of Philadelphia's thriving technology scene, bolstered by colleges and universities from UPenn to Temple and Drexel, and a local government that's dedicated to innovation. Thousands of businesses have been launched in the area in recent years as venture capital funding has increased. Grads like UPenn alum Danny Cabrera are staying local to build their businesses. His startup, BioBots, has designed a 3D printer that can be used to print living cells, including skin, liver, and heart tissue. Big companies like AbbVie and GlaxoSmithKline are among those using this to research new drugs. Pharma companies are interested in seeing how, how drugs affect the heart and the liver. And they're using the BioBot to, to print heart and liver tissues and figure out if drugs are going to be toxic on them. Staying in Philadelphia made sense from a cost standpoint for the startup, which has raised $1.5 million so far and was able to access lab space and equipment for cheap. BioBots has sold hundreds of machines so far in 20 different countries. Nearby, another local tech startup is finding success in the e-commerce world. Revzilla sells motorcycle gear and accessories both online and at their storefront after launching out of an apartment in 2007. They've bootstrapped their operation to hit $100 million in revenue. Launching in the city of brotherly love has shown them what it's like to be part of a community. Philadelphia is kind of the unique mix where you have a personal touch and feel, you can be part of the community, but you don't get lost in the community where people really support each other. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers in Philadelphia.